Um, hello and welcome to a brand new tutorial. And uh, today in this tutorial, we'll be making something like this. I call it Glow. Basically, it's um, some text, 3D text in Blender, and which basically gives off its own light source. It's got a reflection here as well. So it's quite good. Um, I made a red one, a green one, a blue one, and a pink one here. So basically open up Blender, and we're just going to delete the default cube. What is the setting for removing this one? Um, Sorry about that. Press B and we're just going to select those two, the default cube and um, light and then click X and then we go to add text, press oh, X90 and press tab and we'll change that to blue and drag this out, go to our little text tab here, the X true value on 0.5 the size on 2 and the font to Yagizar. Yag Yag something. What's it called? Yagizar. There we go. I'll leave a link in that for the dis in the description, sorry. Might make that font just 0 0.5. There we go. Don't want it too big. Um we'll go to add mesh plane and we'll press S to scale and we'll make it much bigger like so and we'll lift our little text up just a tad like so. So we have some text here and we have our plane and our camera set in the default position which is absolutely fine for this. Um, Next, I'm going to go to ensure that the text is selected and go to Object, Convert to Mesh from Curve, Meta, Surf and Text, and then go to the Materials tab here, and click New, change the colour to uh, Techno Green, like, I'm looking for a lime here quite a rich lime colour. Um, where should I go? I think I'm going to go somewhere like that. It's quite nice. And in the shading here, we want to click this emit button and turn it to the value of 1. And that's a medium light. As you see, it like came to really bright. And that's all the settings we need so far. Now you want to go into your little world tab here and ensure that our indirect lighting, uh, click indirect lighting and turn to the gather on approximate. We have that all good. Then we want to, um, oh yeah, the world tab here, yeah. Then you want to right click on our plane and we want to go into materials tab here, click material, keep it on the default white and we're going to add some reflecting stuff so we'll drop down of mirror here and check mirror and turn the reflectivity onto 0 0.5 and the gloss amount to Quite low, so zero point six. I'm not going for. And then let's just give this a test render to so see how it's going. Okay, so first of all, we need to scale this up some more, um, and we need to ensure that our gloss here is a bit higher, 
productivity a bit higher. Um, have I missed anything? I'm worrying that I'm missing things. Um, let's give it another render. Is that giving us a shadow? I mean, it's going back and play around the gloss. Okay, so it is working. Just need to lower the reflectivity to 0.4. Gloss to 0.8. Render again. I think I've missed something. Turn that down, turn the gloss up again. Select this one. Do I need to add some transparency? Is it something to do with sky? Is it environment? Lighting? Or is it that approximate? It's not that lighting, it's ambient. I suppose you could use um, ambient lighting if you really wanted, that gives it a really nice effect. Quite like that. That's quite nice, but it's definitely indirect lighting. Um, let's render it one more time. Ah, there we go. I've hit the perfect settings, so we'll just go with that through that one more time. So, in our world, with the world tab, we've got indirect lighting with the gather set on approximate. And in the um, materials tab, we've got it on an emit of one and a diffuse um, color of any color you really want. We've got that's basically it for that one. Then on the um, plane here, we've got in the uh, materials, we've got emit on zero and basically just tick mirror for reflectivity on 0.264 and the gloss on. Bulk, basically, you can lower that depending on your taste. Um, so I'll bring that for one last time, and I'm just going to put the resolution on max. And that's basically my size. Bring that quickly. Once your image has fully rendered, you can just go into your image save image as and I'll save them to my movie maybe like the video is the and I'll just call it next png and save image as and basically there we have our final product so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed um, please leave a comment like and favourite um, and thank you for watching.